Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I have Frank on the channel, and Frank has a really cool custom cargo trailer camper conversion he's gonna give us a tour of today. This is seven by 14 by six tall. This is cedar I put on the outside, and everybody thinks it's heavy, not heavy at all. Very, very light, feather light for all it is. Only did the front side. Made this door, this used to be a giant door all here. This is fake, made a regular door. Windows from Home Depot, double pane screen, they work out great. Brand new tires, dual axle. We've got a plug here for when you're camping. If you want to plug something in, we usually put a table here. Plug a stove and stuff. Kayak racks, fits two kayaks. You probably can get one in the middle if you had to. These are from my marina. Easy to tie the kayak. You tie one end, throw the rope over, go on the other side, tie it off. Very simple. Ladder to get up there. I'm going to add a receiver back here, a hitch receiver for a bike. So you can have put a bike back here. This is all AZAC plastic. Will never rot. Took the big heavy doors off. The doors weighed a ton. This trailer is very lightweight. Pulled it with a Ford Escape. It's raining, so we're going quick. Air conditioner pulls out very easy if you're taking a long trip. I mostly leave it in. Doesn't bother nothing. Air vents that go through. This is how you fill the tank, the water tank that's inside, 10 gallon water tank. A 30 amp plug is in here that plugs into a uh, campsite made for that. And this is a water hookup when you pull in a campground so you got steady water, you don't have to use that tank. Just my hot water heaters back here, they're, they're just vents. Oh, we should have that. That's a, uh, an exhaust fan for over the counter when you're cooking, windows. I built this on the front for air for when you're driving wind resistance, and it also doubles as a storage. We keep our chairs and everything in here. Exhaust fan in here for the bathroom, and it vents out here. See them doors? They came off the back of the camper. Them things weigh a ton. That took so much weight off of this thing. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Okay, guys, welcome to the inside of my conversion cargo trailer. Um, kitchen area, put a full sink here. As you can see, my girlfriend insisted on that. <laughs> Microwave, refrigerator. Made these drawers, three drawers. Under here is my hot water heater for the whole thing. Cups, radio. This is an exhaust fan for when you're cooking here. That thing really is handy. Wine rack, vent for up top, and I'll tell you why I did that later on. Custom wood ceiling, two more vents, top. I'm a surfer, so I made this stained glass window with a light for night light type thing. Air conditioner, it's a regular home air conditioner because the roof ones are too expensive. <laughs> um, this used to be a wood-burning stove here. You can see the slate on the floor in the hole where the, where the chimney went out. Took up a lot of room and it made it too hot in here. So I went with a diesel heater. I'll show you that later. But now I got a food pantry and a place for clothes. I can keep clothes in here. And I was able to add this extra piece on here which forms into a giant bed. Let me show you how this bed works. Really simple. These backrests here. First, I keep cushions under here. And you put these two pieces. Cushion. These are three quarter. You gotta have that because they'll sag if you don't. Slide on. And that's a pretty big bed there. Quick and easy. I'll show you something else. 
That's all storage under there. Pretty big under there, under the bed. Also, this is where I keep the bedding. Under here, big area. Quilt, pillows, whatever. I tried to utilize every inch of space in here. Under here is the guts. This is a diesel heater. You fill it here. It's a one gallon tank, lasts forever. Battery, 12 volt. Water tank, if there's no water available at a campground, which a lot of them don't. We got the pump, pumped it right to the shower and the sink tower under here. I keep a light bulb in case it gets cold. This won't freeze. And that's pretty simple. This thing will drive you out of here. Took it skiing, no problem. If you look at this back wall, there was two giant doors back there. They weighed a ton. The whole idea was to keep this thing light because I had a Ford Escape at the time. So this is very light build. Everything's half inch, quarter inch ceiling. This is Azac, half inch Azac to replace the doors I took off because you don't need, I didn't want doors back here. This is just extra storage, speakers. I was able to get put two speakers in. We keep cups and stuff in there, stuff you hardly ever use. Put a shelf here, just an, again, extra storage. You never could have too much storage in these things. So, when you're camping, pocketbooks, whatever. <laughs> Girl stuff. <laughs> Two windows I bought at Home Depot. Double pane. No moisture gets in these. Very easy to open. They came with screens. All plastic. The wall outside is all Azac. Nothing will rot here. Outside. This is the bathroom. Okay. Portable head, actually flushes. I put this extra water thing here to clean it out, easy. This is a dental sink. Again, my girlfriend insisted on a sink in the bathroom. This is like a waste bin. I keep a bag back here. You just put your hand in there and throw any waste, whatever. And this is basically a full shower. Ceiling's about six foot. Hot and cold, no problem. And uh, this is for, in case the electric goes out, I got these threw out. Full size exhaust fan. This thing will suck you out. <laughs> and another vent up here. Towel rack. I tried to keep everything as tight as, as possible. Because that's what you gotta do in these small things. The whole trailer's about seven by 14. And uh, Let's fire the thing, sure. Frank, thank you very much for taking the time to meet me in this very rainy day to give us a tour of your custom cargo camping trailer. Can you tell us a little bit about the systems and, and how they work? We noticed a freshwater tank underneath the lounge and a water pump, but there was a water heater. Is that gas fired? Is that electric fired? 12 volt? That is all electric. 30 amp. I got a 30 amp breaker under there with a giant 30 amp cord. That goes, that plugs right into any campsite. It fits that plug that goes into the campsite. The water tank under the bed is all 12 volt in case there's no water or electric. You still got water for shower and sink. You fill that from the outside, the water tank. The, the diesel heater you fill from inside. It's and, only a gallon. And then the refrigerator here is this, this is a compressor style, like residential or RV or boat? It's for, it's made for any, any, really, it's a, it's electric. I'll just leave it at that. You can put it anywhere. So in order for that to work, you'd be plugged in a yes. shore power to keep from? Yes. If there's no electric, then you go to your ice, your ice chest, which we bring anyway. And I saw the battery pack in here, and that's like a battery backup. So if you're driving on the highway, you want to come in here and use the toilet, you'll have running mm -hmm. water because it's yes. 12 volt water yes. pump. Everything works on it's just like a 12 volt battery, but the good thing is it, it keeps staying charged because it's plugged in. Plugged into it and it will last forever even if it's not plugged in. 
uses very little, this stuff uses very little amperage from it. And then for things to run like the microwave, the air conditioning, the water heater and the refrigerator, you have to be plugged into that either a generator. That has to be plugged in, yes. Or, or a generator, which we do carry a generator. Um, very quiet. And how I met Frank was about a year ago, I was riding my bike, I was doing an Instagram live video. It's a cool trailer. And here goes this really cool trailer <laughs> blowing past me. So I met up with you at uh, traffic light. That trailer's awesome. Right. You build that yourself? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, said hi and uh, here we are a year later doing a tour of your awesome creation. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. I'm sure I'll have you on again because I'm sure you're gonna build another cool trailer. I am going to build another one this fall. <laughs> and this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. See you guys.